watching from Harare and Senegal and all over the continent. We've got a discussion of who are the quickest wingers or the quickest finishers uh, in today's tournament. Let's have a discussion on YouTube and uh, name who your quickest player is. I know I've seen a couple of gas men that are scoring a lot of tries here as the two teams run out. This is going to be a cracker. It certainly is going to be Kennedy as Zimbabwe take on Senegal. And they're playing for a place in the semi-finals. Zimbabwe will be relying heavily on Stephen Hunduza. But also Shingi Kateri did very well yesterday with a couple of tries, as did uh, that tall man, Chamala. And I know the man that they call Rubber. Can your favorite of yours? <laughs> You'll have a lot to say today. Yeah, definitely. And looking at the Senegal team, you know, their captain, Paul Kamara, who's also related to the football player. Um, they had some decent runs and some exciting plays with the outside backs are really quick and they've got good feet. So they're going to put the Zimbabwean team to the sword. Although the Zimbabwean team have got their own gasmen. You know, there's uh, some superb athletes that are playing for the Zimbabwean team. Certainly now Zimbabwe have the ball. Okay. And will certainly be looking to put points on the board as early as possible. And there to secure their place in the semi-final. And we're away in match number three of the quarterfinals. <laughs> Senegal have the ball. But that man can't get past uh, Shingi Katrere. Oh, that's a turnover there. And again, a lot of teams don't identify, they're struggling to identify with the law of that once a player has been held up, if you get involved with the ruck, if, you, if I'm a defending team, if I send all my numbers there and they send one or two players, the moment they send players to that, to that mall, if it doesn't go down, the defending team wins the ball. So they've got to understand that law. How Senegal did not these players with the law? So? So how familiar are the players with the laws? Because the laws are obviously continually changing. Yeah, they, I think a lot of them, you know, they, they've got a, a general idea. And Zimbabwe are trying to play the game at a quick pace. And out to Chamala on the far end with an effort. And again, similar situation as an offload and a great opportunity for Zimbabwe. And it is a try time. Nope, not quite. Looked like Zimbabwe had an opportunity on the far end to put it down. Oh, but just, he may have lost it just before he went down. Yeah, unfortunate. I think that was just a forward pass in the offload. They were able to come away from that more. It was almost going to get blown up, but they were able to rip out the ball and go. But just a slight forward pass that allows Senegal to, to look to clear the ball here. Zimbabwe are the seemingly the hungrier of the two sides, knowing very well, Kennedy, that it is critical to put points on the board as early as possible there to make their way to the semi-final. Yeah, you don't want to be caught short-handed because a lot of the, the teams are trying to coast through some of their games and start to gear up for the, the stronger teams. But it's these smaller teams that can really be a you know, slippery banana skill as it, it, slide, as, as they would say. So you've got to make sure that you you're accurate and, and, and have a lot of intensity. Senegal make a long kick on the far side, kick it into touch. And that allows him to earn some hard yards. We did have some rain overnight, but it is a glorious day for rugby as Senegal kicked that one. And they're Yes, man. Attempts to take it, but lose it. Yeah, unfortunately, the Senegalese player tried to tap the ball in, but half his body was outside of the touchline. But I think it's been a it's it's an interesting mix. A quick line up taken, clever. 
great opportunity for Zimbabwe. As Nelson Madida runs with that one. Oh. And can he be caught? It doesn't look like it. Look, a great opportunity for Zimbabwe to put one between the posts. And it is a try time, Zimbabwe. The key to that try was the offload. And just a little bit earlier than that, that quick line out where they caught the Senegal team still trying to form out the line out. But the quick line out thrown in just gave Zimbabwe enough time to get out wide. as they look to try add the two points here. Good strike, but he just pushed it to the right-hand side. There is one of the speedsters at this tournament, and if it were, had to be a 100-meter run out, I'd put my money on him. <laughs> Shingi, the speedster, they call him in, Zimbabwe, in South Africa, schooled at St. Benedict's, played his rugby there, and. Uh, was a bit of a school hero, and it's good to see him gracing the African sevens. I thought you were saying in a 100-meter yard see. dash that uh, you would be quite happy to go up against him. <laughs> As that man, Chamala, grabs a ball with an opportunity for Zimbabwe. And uh, Shingi speeds to offloading to Kule Chwaza. Chwaza with an opportunity. rather messy line call there. I mean, the Senegal player dived over, didn't really allow this team to place the ball. But they opt to go for the line. Although they're kicking right into the to the wind, you can see the wind is starting to blow here. The flags are blowing. It's going from left to right as we look at the field. What do we learn from that strategy, Kennedy? In the last couple of times, as soon as Senegal has gotten the ball, they've kicked it into touch for that lineup. Yeah, and they, and they seem to be struggling with their lineup. So it's, it's quite interesting why they opt for that kick out. Um, you know, Chamala has been putting pressure, and you'll see here again, he will put pressure, and that, that means you've got to throw it in straight. That's a good throw, and well won by the Senegal team. And they switch, uh, do the Senegalese. With that speed start, can they catch him? Great opportunity for Senegal. Down the left flank, finally tackled by Shingi Flanguo. Oh, great textbook tackle. Sidestep, Zimbabwe still have it. Loses out in that pass. Shingi Katrere, another speed start on the far right, far left, as he makes it an easy one for Zimbabwe. Another five points on the board, and this one probably with a conversion. Yeah, interesting series of play because the referee was trying to call them back to take it, the quick tap from the right mark, and the Zimbabwe team went through. But Kashwira has been in good form. He really has had a good tournament. He scored some crucial tries yesterday. And there is another one that just gets the Zimbabwe team to go 10 points ahead. They're going to add the two points here. Great start for the Zimbabwe side, Kennedy. 12 points ahead of Senegal in this uh, quarterfinal. Yes, Third coach, match that we're watching today. Yeah, Coach Gilbert Nyamutamba will be happy with the start. You know, he's made a couple of changes. He's got some of his stalwarts on the bench, and the team that's on the field right now is doing the business, and that's that's a good sign. Looking forward to the semi-finals. Well taken by Senegal. Does it, really, does it go very really far? Playmaker, quick thinking. It's more very aggressive in this game. Again, the breakdown is very messy. The ref is not taking enough control there because he's not being clear in terms of who must roll away, who must place the ball. You would like to see the officiating just being more vocal, and I think that's that's one of the areas that players are always asking. Can we have clarity of communica communication from the referees? And on the stroke of uh, half time, Senegal kick it into touch. Could have seen that one coming. Yeah. No. 
They had a good line out earlier on, taken cleanly. They've got to look for the same. And, and Baba so Chao too early. only finds uh, Yukatura as uh, Kudachimwata again darts his way past that man and uh, puts another one down for Zimbabwe. Three tries at Zimbabwe. Great performance by the Southern African nation. Well, that's a good try, but a questionable defense from the Senegalese team. I mean, they. He was in the five meter channel and was able to step him in out and get around him. He almost couldn't even claim the touch there, but it's rather disappointing defense, but it's, it's a really confident start by the Zimbabwe team. Can he add the two? He's been striking the ball well. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Tarisa Mugariri puts it to another two points on the board for Zimbabwe. Senegal seemingly without a concrete plan on how to deal with this Zimbabwe side. Yeah, and uh, it's going to be interesting to hear what the coach has to say. Players are being vocal. And that's what's needed sometimes. On the contrary, the Zimbabwe side seem a lot more relaxed than the Senegalese. Obviously, they have a few tries in the bag, points on the board, exactly what they would have needed. Yeah, interesting that uh, the coach, Gilbert Yamtsamba, hasn't even got involved in the circle. He's been standing aside. I think he's got the leaders, you know, passing the instructions that's needed. The Senegal had a, a group huddle, I think, for half a minute, and they've gone back, not understanding that they've got a full two or three minutes to, to have a real um, strategy session at, at half time. Well, I don't think they have too much to say, Kennedy, <laughs> other than, guys, we are 19 points down. It is half time, and we need to score at least another 20, 21 points if we are to win this game. Yeah, I think it's, they say it's a, a better, better said, what's better said left alone or whatever it is, <laughs> because, you know, it's, um, the coach just said, guys, get out there. But I'm really pleased with the, the start that Zimbabwe has had. You know, there's a, there's a focus and even the way some of their, their, their spirit has been, you know, the way their preparation, they've been singing and they've been chanting and some of that. There's a real good vibe around the team. I think there's something brewing and we're going to see some surprises in this tournament. And this day is far from, from done. Well, the second half is about to get kicked in the way and again, they opt for the longer kick and that's never... <laughs> As about well, to say, it's never ball. a good tactic, and there goes Zimbabwe knocking it on. Yeah, Takuzo Kumadiro doesn't quite grab that one as he would have liked. <laughs> a nice deep alignment here by Senegal's backline. Senegal are on the attack. Abusi offloads, on, but lose that ball. The Zimbabwe look to recollect. Again, Sigi Kachira with an opportunity. Oh, clever kick. <laughs> and doesn't quite benefit oh. from the bounce. Yeah. So the speed start losing <laughs> out there, not fast enough. Yeah, I think the speed starts to stick on the the track, the sprinting track, and leave the football alone. <laughs> that was a clever little kick there, and I mean, I admire, you know, street street smart type kicking kicks like that. That was really clever. It does tell you that they are thinking about this game, smart play. Yeah, a bit of confusion in the Senegal team here. They're not quite sure whether they want to opt for the kick into touch. And see the captain says, listen, we've tried it four or five times. It hasn't worked. So let's run at these guys. And they're doing a good job. Some good continuity. And Zimbabwe trying to contest at every ruck. So Niaz, Mohamed Sao was uh, with the ball. Zimbabwe fighting for it valiantly. There's a Nelson and Madida. Senegal still have the ball. Mohamed Sao 
with it and he offloads to the left. Oh, he had to pass that ball for the first time. And that's just the difference between some of these teams that the smaller teams are when it comes time to let the ball go, they they think twice because they're trying to see if, if, if the defender is going to buy the dummy or not. And just between that moment of hesitation, the pass starts going forward. And uh, that's always... You know, as, as Zimbabwe makes uh, two substitutions, uh, Stephen Hunduza uh, coming on, as does uh, Tafazwa Chitokwindo. And I suppose uh, them coming in now, Kennedy, is really to get them warmed up ahead of the next game, yeah. not really to reinforce the side as they are in a dominant position at the moment, but ahead of their next uh, encounter, just to make sure that uh, they've warmed up sufficiently as uh, Steve Wunduza has the ball. There's the first touch of the ball in its uh, third quarter-final game. Yeah, again, Senegal team complaining about that they were trying to contest the ball, but they don't understand that if you get your hands on the floor, you're not allowed to then go and contest for the ball because you're not supporting your own body weight. So I think, again, the rules are being understood quite clearly enough. And the players, you know, then start getting frustrated with the referee. As the referee signals uh, for a change, Senegal bring in two players. I think they're also trying to freshen it up a little bit because they, the players on the field just haven't been able to, to put the right impetus and, and, and try to get momentum because every time they've had ball, they've lost it with either knock on or uh, lost it. Contested the ruck. As Conor Pritchard also looks to make his way on just to have a little run and stretch. Senegal bring in Mamadou Saw and Mamadou Ndiaye. He's uh, played in the Gold Cup in uh, 2017. So as a winger, they will be hoping that he can add some much-needed impetus yeah, to this game. Definitely. You know, talking about Conor Pritchard, from, from Australia, where he is based, but he's dedicated to the seventh game and, and how the cheaters are going to progress. And he's a key component because he he really brings that edge to the team. Senegal have it. Oh, and what this time is he doesn't going kick. on down there? <laughs> what's just happened there, Kevin? Yeah, well, I think what's happened there is that he, he's really confused. Our our director, Tian, who's up there, got confused <laughs> a little bit because he was expecting a kick to go and the player neither kicked or tapped it. So the referee was, you come back here, I'll give the borders up because they, might, they seem to know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, has been a little bit quiet, uh, Kennedy. They lo lost uh, three minutes of uh, this encounter, but this entire second half. Zimbabwe have not been aggressive, but they have an opportunity here on the left flank with that man they call Rubber. Great pass, great offload. Oh, that's great defense by Senegal. I mean, Zimbabwe really tried to stretch it. They went from five to five. They call that a, the C to C, which is coast to coast type play. But Senegal was clever enough and had enough gas to be able to push the defenders, the attackers anyway, into touch. And we're back at another line out. I think this must be the seventh line out that Senegal has. And Mahmoud Ndeya will had, take charge of one. it. Any offloads as Senegal have an opportunity down at the left flank. That speeds to Mamadou Niang, but can't get past the Zimbabwe defence. Senegal still have it. And Conor Pritchard, man who came in shortly, puts a stop to it. Left with little opportunity as Zimbabwe's Kruli Ndlela says, nope, you will not get past me. Yeah, again, a high tackle being called by the assistant referee. And I think they've been told to, to be able to, to pick up on such, a, such, such tackles. Oh. Senegal restart, but they restart with a forward pass. Yeah. Which doesn't help their cause much. Yeah, you and I think when you, when you look at it, you know, the effort of Senegal throughout the, the tournament so far, I think this is one of those teams that really needs to keep on playing and, 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 and try to get to as many sevens tournaments because I've, I saw them last year and they, their improvement level isn't, isn't 
at the rate that you would expect to, you'd want it to be. So I just think they need to play a bit more tournaments. But this is a, a good effort. And Again, they had another opportunity as Zimbabwe lost that one in the try. In the scrum, rather. Great opportunity for Senegal. Could this be the one? Just inside the Zimbabwe 22. Senegal still have it, an offload. Oh. But he lose that one. Great opportunity to offload, Kennedy. Boy, oh boy, talking about a coach killer. He had to let that ball go. He had two or three players open and uh, just didn't have, have the, the, the confidence to be able to pass the ball. And that, it really does frustrate one. But, uh, you know, they have one chance to score and break that donut. And they couldn't take the chance. And Steve Wunduza <laughs> has a little bit of fun towards the end as the siren has gone for full time. Zimbabwe are through to the semi-finals with a 19-0 victory over Senegal.